हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर प्राची कुलकर्णी फर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट 49 फर्टिलिटी सेंटर बंजारा हिल्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ कॉमन क्वेश्चन आस्ट बाय पेशेंट्स व्हाई माय पीरियड्स आर इरेगुलर एंड व्हाट शुड आई डू टू गेट रेगुलर साइकल्स सो व्हाई इरेगुलर साइकिल हैपन्स देर आर मल्टीपल रीजन्स टू हैव इरेगुलर साइकिल्स एंड दोज रीजन्स नीड टू बी एड्रेस प्रॉपरली टू गेट रेगुलर साइकिल्स also when you get regular cycle sometimes with the hormonal pills it may not mean that you are ovulating so to get regular cycles first what you have to do is consult a proper fertility specialist get yourself evaluated for various hormones and the ultrasound examination where we can point out a particular reason for irregular cycles nowadays most common cause for irregular cycles is polycystic ovaries other than polycystic ovary there can be an elevated uh, prolactin levels or there can be uh, hypothyroidism which is responsible for irregular cycles also the patients who have lower egg reserve they also tend to get irregular cycles so it's better not to assume something as a cause for your irregular cycle but to consult a fertility specialist to come to a proper conclusion about your irregular cycle is it because of pcos or it is actually low ovarian reserve so depending upon how much is your egg reserve what are the issues in your blood test the fertility specialist can guide you about further treatment so now coming to the point what can you do uh, to get regular cycles so as i said uh, depending on the reason the fertility specialist will guide you so if it is hypothyroidism they might advise you to take some medicines for thyroid if you have low egg reserve they might advise you to go for an iui or ivf along with some fertility enhancing or adjuvant medicines like multivitamins and some hormones uh, so based on that you have to follow the treatment also what you can do at home is to maintain a healthy lifestyle so healthy lifestyle means having a regular exercise of at least half an hour 40 minutes at least 5 days a week then having a healthy good diet which is a balanced diet preferably home cooked meals with good amount of uh, fruits and vegetables in the salad form and with good amount of proteins uh, maybe plant based proteins like uh, different pulses or sprouts or even um paneer or uh, milk products like curd and all or you can take um egg white boiled egg white daily or you can take for the go for the fish and chicken uh, or other non veg items also so these are the sources of the protein so you should include good amount of proteins in your diet uh, the carbohydrate content of your diet should be on the lower side so rice and all these uh, rotis and all should be in the less amount then what else to do is avoid junk food obviously so avoid eating outside food hotel food or any pizza burgers and uh, fried deep fried items so all those you have to avoid avoid smoking because smoking uh, definitely decreases egg reserve and can cause irregular cycle also avoid drinking alcohol because that also has adverse effects on the egg quality and if you conceive then on uh, developing baby alcohol will have adverse effects so avoid smoking and drinking then uh, have a regular pattern for your sleep uh, don't keep, stay awake in the night for long it may affect your melatonin secretion and circadian rhythm which also affects your fertility have some exposure to the early morning sunlight which will help in maintaining your vitamin d levels get yourself uh, evaluated for vitamin d levels take supplements for vitamin d get yourself evaluated for egg reserve if the egg reserve is on the lower side your doctor will advise you the medicines to support the egg reserve me while uh, like it, it t- treating you for the infertility like going for treatment like iui or ivf so this is about uh, what you can do about lifestyle modification to get regular cycles also you have to do uh, is keep your bmi as near to normal as possible so normal bmi is 25 if your bmi is above 30 then every point of bmi uh, above 30 will reduce your chances by 5% to become pregnant so you have to keep your bmi as near to 25 as possible so for that reason if you need any diet 
dietitian consultation or any exercise regime consult a dietitian start exercise and reduce some weight so that you will have your bmi near normal so maintain a normal bmi then if you have any other medical conditions like if you have uh, high blood pressure or if you have diabetes or if you have thyroid so keep a regular um, treatment with the doctors concerned so that you, all these disease conditions are under control and that will also improve your fertility so this is what you can do for having regular cycles maintain your weight near near normal bmi have healthy food avoid junk food avoid smoking and drinking have regular exercise routine get yourself evaluated for fertility then assuming the reason for your regular in irregular cycles and if doctor advises you to move ahead in the fertility treatment follow doctor's advice so this is about irregular cycles how you can improve to get regular cycles thank you